The doctor is in. Welcome back, guys. It's your pal, Dr. Sal, again. And today, we are going to take a look at it. All right, so very quickly, a lot of people have been offered the choice between Pfizer and Moderna. And a question that I keep getting is, which one should you get based on side effect profile? They're both effective against the COVID-19. They're both mRNA vaccines. So in head-to-head -head trials, which one is tolerated better? So we're going to put P here for Pfizer, M here for Moderna, and then we're going to look at the stats. So first off, the most common side effect for both was injection site pain, uh, just from where the needle pokes in your arm. For Pfizer, that came out at 84%. For Moderna, it was reported in 92% of takers. For tiredness after the injection, uh, that in Pfizer was listed in 63% of takers. And for Moderna, the rate of that was 70%. For headaches, uh, we're looking at 55% uh, in Pfizer. And for Moderna, the headache was 65%. For muscle aches, uh, for Pfizer, we're looking at 38%. And for Moderna, the muscle aches or myalgias were about 62%. For chills, and we're not talking about chilling, we're talking about shaking and feeling cold as though you had the common cold. Uh, Pfizer, we're looking at 32%, as opposed to a Moderna, which was, uh, where was it again, um, 45%. So you can see in the head-to-head -head trials, assuming that we're comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges, so with the assumption that the studies done in both are equivalent and there's not something magnifying results on one side and minimizing them on the other, the head-to-head -head trial suggests that the Pfizer comes out king and Moderna uh, not so, so much in terms of side effects. There was more injection pain in Moderna, more fatigue, more headache, more muscle ache, and more chills. That being said, um, a lot of these side effects are very, very short self-limiting. We're looking at three to five days, and they're also minor. Uh, there's no indication from these studies how intense each of these things was, just whether it was reported or not. So it is possible that even though there were more cases reported here, maybe there were more severe over here. We just don't know. So the question is, uh, which should you get? I would say whichever one you can get because it doesn't matter. To me, these differences are very small and fleeting, not that big of a deal. Uh, just We're just talking about looking at very slight margins. But compared to contracting the actual COVID-19 the real deal, uh, you'll be getting all this plus more. So to me, it all comes down to availability. If you really have your dithers and could choose whichever you want, i probably go with this one, which is actually what I did do in real life. I did get the Pfizer one. However, if push came to shove and there was limited uh, supply, I would take whichever one I could get. So that's my take on it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you a great rest of your day. So don't hesitate, don't vacillate, vaccinate. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now. If you found this video helpful, support us by sharing it with all of your friends and throw us a like below. You're a star. Cheers and cheerio.